siba naliwa ani hata siba naliwa ani hata siba nalisa maskini ani hata siba nenga taina chimuverako yengeli jetu tamulamu rwalero tugenda kuogera ku muteko ogwo msambu <coughs> muteko ogwo msambu ye muntu omulwadde obulwadde buno bwa bulijjo obulwadde obusubirwa okubera anti no buona abafu muntu oyo muramabani asiba obata siba obulwadde bungi ne ata abantu tubatunulira ku bulwadde okusinzira ku mbera zaabwe mulimo omuntu akwati bwo bulwadde wadde buzito butisa ne ate immune system ye neberanga eri waguru naberanga ete bumukosa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala buli omu aina bwe yamutonda kakati obulwadde tujja kuogera ku bulwadde buno tujja gambo ba corona oba musujja oba kifuba oba 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 wabula ebanga le malango obulwadde bwe tuogera ko busubirwa okuona oba busobola okuona bwe bulwadde bwe tuogera ko lwalero mujukire nti emabega ko twayogera ku mulwadde ningo obulwadde wete busubira kuona nga kansa ne ne ndwa de ndale mbi adhan allah wa iyaku minha allah azituise wala ne baganda bafi oba banyina fi byageze byageze sa ne ndwa dezo aberenga abawonya oyo yetu agamba nti obulwadde obutasubira kuona nga buli mu mbere yo tasobola kusiba ne tugambe byo kusiba yoyo abivira ko dalala ne na aberanga ajulukuka nava mu kusiba na damu lisa ba maskini buli runaku olubalo muiseko kati gwe tuliko olwa lero ye mulwadde obulwadde obusubira kuona <coughs> mulwadde obulwadde obusubira okuona tumutunulira mu ngeri satu engeri esoka kwe kubera anti obulwadde buno obumukutte mu kisibo la yashuku alayhi as-sawm wa la yadurruhu nga bwaba mulwadde takalubirirwa kusiba erata erata kosebwa bwaberanga asibye okugeza asobola okuba nge kyandi bade chimukalubiriza obo kumuko kumira dagala nenge dagala liyandi badamira emisana anti oba mirundi ebiri mpeke bidi emirundi ebiri nti amira kumacha no regulo gasobola kulichusa na amira ko kusibulukuka ne mukisera cha daku kakati chengamba makuru nti bwabe kusiba te kumukalubiriza eranga te kumukosa oyo yajibu alayhi sawm akakasibwa ko kuberanga asiba mu mwezi gwa ramadhani taina kisonyisa kugama nti anti mpuli randi mulwadde sija kusiba kubango oyo taina excuse ne mugana kusiba abantu abamba kitegera bubi butuga amanti no mulwadde yaloza buli mulwadde tasiba nedda obulwadde uberanga tebukuko te, tokalubirirwa kusiba kusinzira ku mulwadde boli na obokusinzira ku mbera yogwe eranga tokosebwa gwe tukugamba okakasibwa ko kusiba olwa eteka lya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yagamba mu suratul baqara aya 195 yagamba anti no faman shahida minkum shahra faliyasumhu omuntu yenna ramabani gwasanga wo akakasibwako okubera ntino asiba kakati gwe oli muteko ogwo wadengo uliro oli mulwadde ebanga lyo malango obulwadde tebukalubiriza kusiba ate tebu, ate tokosebwa ngo sibye omuteko ogwo kubiri ogwo mulwadde mu bulwadde obusubirwa okuona ani yashuka alayhi sawm wa la yadurruhu ko kubera ntino bwasiba okusiba kumukalubiriza na yenga takosebwa era tugamba kisinzira ku chika cyo bulwadde oba ku mulwadde yenyini Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala engeri ya mubezamu oyye tugamba anti yuftiru akirizibwa okusibulukuka tugambye okusiba kumukalu bida nete kumukosa kati yetu gamba akirizibwa okusibulukuka 
kubange dizi te ya gara kuberanti netu karu viliza. Allah subhana wa ta'ala ya guwabu terevu. Mumuteko guli Allah subhana wa ta'ala guwabu ya gira kumu kurani. Nga mazo kutula giranti ya tulalika koko siva. Na gama ntu wa man kana marivan awa ala safari. Umuntu wa veranga muruade. Obali musafari ama kurunti nari ya faida tumin ayamin ukhar. Ali wa muna kuendara ngechi wachi wedeko. Aye yo. Tuajisomi Allah na agama anti yuridu Allah bikumul yusira wala yuridu bikumul usir. Allah subhana wa ta'ala abagaliza buangu tayagara kubaka rubiriza. <coughs> Kakati yono umuruwade akaru ubiriruwa wadenga tako sewa tumugamba chita mwa okubeda anti no asiba okuroku jawu bukaru ubirivu kubanga Allah subhana wa ta'ala sichi atu agaliza. Ate Allah ya tutera uo obuangu Mbwaya garo kubela anti na karembe liza kiyotera umu dini. Nga tukirizi woka kozesa. Na wosano kubela anti no. Oka kozesa. No te karubiliza. No tabonya abonya muoyogo. Obujulizi. Allah subhanahu wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam agamba. Inna Allah yuhibu antu uta ruha suhu. Kama yakrahu antu uta maasu yato. Nti Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mbwababa wado luksa. Ayagala nyumu lukozese. Nga wata mwa. Okubela anti no mumu jemela. Mungyo gere ndara, aigamba, njiu inna Allah yuhibu antu utaruha suhu, kama yuhibu antu utaazaimu huu katona. Ngabu ayagala, mkolebi ya wala gira, ilabu ayagala, mkozese uruksa, uruyabawa. Kakati omuntu oyo afana na kubu atyo, tugambi enti akalu vidirwa, na ita kosewa, tugambi echisinga, uvulunji kubela anti asivu lukuka, alebe kubela. Kuberantiniza. Umteko gokusatu. Ani yadhura husawumu. Ye muntu. Umuruwade. Neengo kusiva. Kumukosa. Siku kumukaru wiliza. Ula kumukosa. Oyotumu gama. Nishimuka katako. Kuberantinaria. Muramadhani. Ilata kilizi wa kusiva. Kubanga Allah subhana wa tala. Tayagara tuberenga. Tuko semi yo jafe. Erobu julizi musura. Tunisa ayabili muenda. Allah gama ntu wala takutulu amfusa kum temwe tanga temufuke nsonga yoku ziki yoku faa kwa mwe ina Allah hakana bikum rahima katonda haba sasira nyo nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallama Allah tena gama muaye ndala wala tulku bi aidikum ila tahluka temugizanga ko okusura emikono jamu mkuzikirila makulu temufuka nsonga yoku zikirila kwa mwe wa ahsinu ina Allah wa hibu almuhsinin murongo se katonda ya garanyo abarongo sa nina biswa la Allah wa sallama na atu gamba nti ina li nafsika alaika haka mwana damu moyo gogo wade katonda ya guku wa gugo na ye gwa Allah subhana wa ta'ala bufuna anjizi wa Allah wa ya kuku asa o ino kubela nti nobutu ukiriza kakati mbufuna anjizi wa abo kumoyogo Allah subhana wa ta'ala guya kukwasa. Kwe kubela nto gende reda kugutu usako kabi. Allah subhana wa ta'ala nga hakuwade orukusa. Kakati toina kubela ntino osiva okoso umoyo guo. Mubela ngu kakasa nti okusiva kuja kubela nga kukukosa. Nechi lala ye prinsipo ya muku za sharia. Egama nti la dharara wala dhirara. Techikirizi wa kukosa balala ngeda kukosa. Techikirizi wa mtu kwekosa. Ngawe chitakirizi wa kwekosa. Nawe tokirizi wa kubela nti no okosa abalala. Kakati umuntu. Singa habela nga afunye oburwade. Mura madhani nga yabade asivye. Akirizi wa butere. Na habela nga tasobola kujuza kusiva. Akirizi wa okubela nti no asivuru kukakubange chisonyisa uwechiri. Kakati hate wa habela nga awonye emisana uwechiri. Mura mabwani nga abade teyasivye. Abade muruade na wane misana mura mabwani. Nga teyasu zena niye siva. Oyo kusiva kwe tekutu ukadebu asala wa kutandi kila wa kubanga tuwa bagambi. Nti okusiva kwa faraba. Oino kubela nti osula nenia. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya tugama nti. Umuntu wa batasu zena niya ya kusiva. Falasu ya malahu. Okusiva kwe te kutuka. Kakati bubango wade muru wade. Nga wasu zeto ina niya. No one misana. No ganti haa. Kanta andikila okusiva. Okusiva kwe te kutuka. Tebu tia. Aba dali deko. Uyutata wani la dala. Nida. Aba antu. Aba manyi. Ba. 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 Ba.
alie oba talia abamu ne bagama ngera bo twagambye muri imamu ahmada yena agama nti ayi no gurumize kisibo kubanga kibadde kimulisa kivuddewo abalala ne bagama muri imamu shafi na abamanya balala banji ne baganti ato bakirizibwa okuria nga yabadde ayi ne kisonyisa agende maso taina kimukugira kubera okubera nti no agani bwa okuria kakati oli yebuza <coughs> <coughs> Nti abasawo singa babe ranti no bamu kebe dok sinzi la kuburuwa debwe Ni bamu gama nti haa bo siba kati oja, o, 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 oja kufuna oburuwa de Oba buja kube ranti no bukelewa okuona Oyotumu gamba nti okirizi bo kube ranti no Olia muramavani okuma oburamu bo no kubera nti no we wala obulwadde na ye bububeranga obulwadde ekibadde kimutisa abasawo kibage ntabo osiba ojja kufuna obuzibu ne kivaawo awo tugama nti no oba kisubiru okuvaawo tumugama nti asobola okuberanga abera mu mbere eyo nali abo kisibo nga bwalinda kiveo bwe kivaawo tadda mukulia olwo nadda mu kubera nti nasiba namala Nalinda, uruwa ni maro ekisibo haberenga aliwa ena kwa ziba zimu iseko, uruwa zaabali de mchisibo. Na ye, buhaberenga wade novu wade nga busu viro kuona. Nebutuka, nebugena, nga bukura, nga bukura, nga bukura, nebutuka, musimudala, nga tebuchi asobora kuona, oyotumu gamba, nti alamu uruwa dala, ngori gutuwa yogera ko, gutuwa uruwele verie, Umuruwa de ainobu rado buta subi wa kuona. Tuga manchu urajuru kuka. Evyo kusiba na vivako. Na veranti nobuliru na ku. Uruwari de alisa maskini omu. Mfa Allah subhana wa ta'ala. Mchisache egazi atuwe oburamu. Atuwe amanyi mbili jafe. Atukumide ebiyungu vya fenga viramu. Amaso gafe. Amatu gafe. Amanyi gemi vili jafego na atawe renga atuwa. Amanyi gaba atuwa de. Nebi yungu vya aba atuwa de. Nga vikola burunji. Tuvirenga tuvikoze sa. Mukubela antitukula Allah subhana wa ta'ala. Vya ya gara. Ela vya asima. Tumusinka na kuna kure nkomerero. Nga atusimi. Ateke madala gawa guru mujana. Hatha wa salli Allah maala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Eno ye Salam TV Banda Uganda ambanjuli da huda watuka Islamic Girls Institute ya kabale bugonzi masaka Esomedo lia seke ndwe li some sabana abawala abechi sule edili kumuti ndo kwensi yona Edina kukaka santi sechilevu techenye nye zabwele edo laba chenye nyangachilia Huda watuka Islamic Girls Institute li some sama soma agebi ensi kuone elevo Evi edini yo uisilamu na ama somo gomu mutuwe nebi emiko nebi enja ulo Mkwole kanti dalantambazi ya chinyome ili nyomu tinga yeti se Baina aba some saneva masheka abate ndeke nga baiza abafunye first grade mu primary yomu sanvu na abai tidewa gula masomo gebi edini wafuna basa lenge sumedo lili wakazi bulunji echonge do kulifula mudo kwa luira na taina mbuza agwe gomba buosome la kuhuda watuko bane mikisejo kufuna skalo kusome la mwusi za haba walabu baikiriza computer ya baizi babwe nganebi iba sumesele za kama suma gebi ya mikono yonawe bili anti bulijobo gila chilabika ngowe jiangabika okuande kaba na kugena mumaso kuhuda watuka islamic gauzi insta Instituti, e kaba alibu gonzi ngo vude luka yange visale bija musa oyo muzade, anti ulijia kubo uwa kuba umbe ngalo. Bakubile koku 0, musa mvutano 0, 0, 0, nya 3, munane mu. Oba 0, musa mvutano muenda, muenda munana, mukaga 2, 3, 0.
Allahu la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Haji deputy saya bawa beri mirimu kita akan jaga rambut kita kuzinunga tu nyirida saya bawa aku kau ramu peram peram aku ramu ni mu apa parlement itu bebasa mutu aku ramu ni mana bawa kamu bawa ramu ni mu bawa ramu aku ramu ni mu apa jenu ni mu funu bururu aku ramu zima etanu reyo jema itamu ni mu jawanu mu wobugaru parlement itu mu demu cak mu wobugara awam ni tu Allahu Muhammad Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Amun kote yanziza, tata wuli shoga. Ero o, ero o p. Sebon puga, mukutu fuwe baru muri mu. Puga tu aku simanyo. Naga nzabu kenya gua wuli da. Naya chikuru njaga rokiri ze. Mukutu fu okozo muri mu. Opposition okuji kunganya. Ate rango jibu diri da. Kewale ro mutegere keka mukore biri yoro akubo sovola. Puga, puga, puga. Awa gem puga mumu wapuga. Muhammad Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Ii sabo tata ne yanziza. Ugwa weba rumuri mu. Ugwa yonge da karara. Uri da weba da mazima. Mustafani ya kuwe dembe. Na kutuma diri di di di. Ne yanzi ne yanziza. Sabo hawa kuru mukubo bugaro. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Dokita katikiro tuwe yanzi zawe baru kuja. Mwena bakuru tubasi minyo. Aba zungu baba nubaze. Anita njaga rakenda. Kiri zangu kubakama. Uwe nkula ye nungi jendaba. Mugutu funga sabatu. Aba loko le noba kunganya. Katuli chinoba kunganya. Kasiramu noba kunganya. Katapuli ginoba kunganya. Tata ne yanzi za. Katapuli ginoba kunganya. Nova Kunganya, Abadi Mere Nova Kunganya, Abechi Budi Nova Kunganya, Supri Munoji Kunganya, Awanga Nita Kemba, Mugara Munenduru, Munda Mera, 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 Baba Marako, Mumuwe Bukaro. Eh, Baba Marako, Mumuwe Bukaro, Mumune Duru. Eh, Baba Marako. Tiba Bantu Banko Wote. Eh, Tiba Piso Kumpa Gatu. Ziza, O Mukama Aku Epeira. Baba Ne Yanziza, Mena Bakuru Mwe Balo Biri. Bora Bora Tui Yanziza. Kini Kalisa Kanzige Wapa. Aila Aila, Muhammad Rasulullah. Aila Aila. Thank you very much. Uh, the Matali group. Uh, thank you so much. It has been so, so interesting. Unfortunately, we are time constrained. We can't allow it to go on any further. Right Honorable Speaker and the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker, uh, the Honorable Twaha uh, Tayebwa, now TT. Yeah, the, the, the combination remains TT. Uh, we have received that entertainment has been so, so uh, joyful that people didn't want it to stop. But we are time constrained and now uh, before I invite our chief uh, guest uh, who is Dr. Abdul Hafiz Olusimbi, uh, I wish to introduce to you, Madam Speaker, the resident uh, Justice of Arua, who is your great friend, who came here to be with us today, uh, the Justice Serun Kumaisa, all the way from Arua, is here with us. Uh, Justice stand up for recognition, especially to the, to, the, to the Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I would like also to introduce to you the Special Presidential Advisor on Muslim affairs in Kampala, the Honorable Sarah Kanyike, who is a ministers, and she was once the speaker of Kampala City Council Authority. Uh, the, the, the doctor, Abul Hafiz Walusim, I take this singular honor to invite you, sir, 
to come and address this gathering. I am lucky to have been taught by Dr. Abdul Hafiz Walusimbi when I was pursuing my master's at IUIU Kampala campus. You're welcome, sir. The Right Honorable Speaker, the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker, the Leader of Opposition, the Chairman of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus, the Muslim leadership from different institutions, Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to take this opportunity to convey my sincere gratitude to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessing of life. Given the fact that we are just recovering from the effects of COVID-19, I believe that all of us can reflect on how blessed and privileged we are to be here when our relatives, our friends, have succumbed to COVID-19 and other diseases and health conditions. Madam Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to join the previous speaker and other speakers to congratulate you and your deputy Upon the overwhelming election as the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the 11th Parliament, I want to pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you the wisdom and the guidance to steer this significant institution to the highest levels. Madam Speaker, we are in the holy month of Ramadan. And this holy month comes with a lot of benefits, with a lot of privileges. In the interest of time, I will just have to mention two of them. The month of Ramadan is a training school. It is training us as Muslims to be sincere, to be honest. You just have to imagine when we suspend the eats, the drinks, the sexual desires during the day, despite their availability. How I wish this could be extended to other times of the year so that we can attain self-control, so that we can attain self-restraint, so that we can minimize on the cost of supervision and monitoring. Madam Speaker, the second is this holy month of Ramadan is training us to be generous, to live 
in the service of others. The fact is, there is nothing in the universe that was created to serve its own interests. Rivers don't consume their waters. Lakes don't consume their fish. The sun does not enjoy its own sun rays. The livestock do not consume their milk. This is Allah's wisdom and message to us also to live for the service of others. And this is one of the virtues that we get trained in during this holy month of Ramadan. Madam Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, the month of Ramadan in a special way gives us a moment of seclusion so that we can check our relationship with our Creator. I want to report to you, Madam Speaker, that the Muslim community is doing well as far as fulfilling the articles of worship. We do pray, we fast the holy month of Ramadan, we pay zakah, among others, but I wish to report to you that there is a missing link, which I want to bring to the attention of the August House that you are chairing. The missing link, the missing link is, much as we have been successful to fulfill other articles of worship, but the framers of our dear constitution, as early as 1995, recognized the freedom of worship and expression. In a special manner, the framers of our constitution recognized the need for the Muslim fraternity to regulate and refer their affairs according to their Islamic teachings by having Article 129D one of the constitution to provide for the Kadi's courts. This is one area that we are lacking and we bring it to your attention that it is high time this August House worked on its operationalization. Madam Speaker, when we say that we are in dire need of the Kadi's courts, we say it in the spirit of uh, loving our country. You are aware, given your legal background, Madam Speaker, that there is a lot of backlog in the courts. I want to believe that by this parliament, working on the operationalization of the Cardi's courts, this shall be one of the remedies to relieve our courts from this burden. Madam Speaker, one could ask, what have been the efforts so far? I am heading the Directorate of Sharia and Legal Affairs, the Office of the Supreme Mufti at Chivuli. And on 10th March 2020, we launched the Sharia Directorate. And one of the services that we launched and that we are actually rendering to the public is running an informal Kadi's courts. It is a good beginning and we are calling upon for your support. I also wish to confirm to you that the few steps we have moved, we are doing well. We all know how much religion can impact on an individual. So by referring Muslims to their own faith legal system, in one way or another, you are contributing to having the law-abiding citizens of our dear country. Madam Speaker, as I'm concluding, I understand that there are some challenges with working on the rules to operationalize the Kadi's courts. But I also believe that these challenges are surmountable. They are not beyond our control. One of them has always been lack of enough capacity. 
but from the management training that I have, I do believe that training on job, in-service training, has proven to be one of the methods for capacity building, and I believe that we can do it. I to your attention that our colleagues in Kenya, now that we are talking about the East African dispensation, are already running the Cathy's courts. And I wish to report that our very graduates of Sharia here in Uganda are actually going to Kenya and they are occupying the judicial service in the Cathy's courts. Why not our country, Madam Speaker? I wish, therefore, to say that, yes, we can, and I'm bringing this to your table so that it can be added among the achievements of your term of office. In conclusion, my history tells me, Madam Speaker, that you are special. You are the only person who has occupied the office of Deputy Speaker and Speaker in the same term of office. I want to believe that this is a strong vote of confidence that you can steer this August House to the highest levels. And I want to say that having our project of Cardi's Courts among the business of your parliament shall just add a big credit to your achievements. I'm Dr. Walusimbi Abdul Hafiz. I'm heading the Directorate of Sharia and Legal Affairs, the Office of the Supreme Mufti. I wish you all the best. Ramadan Karim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The lights are stopping us uh, from realizing the fact that the sun is fast running to where it sleeps. And so the moment of breaking the day's fast is approaching truly and pretty fast. Right, Honorable Speaker and all the people around. Among the stars is a delegation of people from the diplomatic corp. I want to, in a special way, recognize the presence of the ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Your Excellency, you are truly welcome. The ambassador from Libya. We have the ambassador from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He's with us, Your Excellency. His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Algeria, is with us tonight. The Deputy Ambassador of Turkey is with us tonight. We have the representative from our brothers from the Embassy of Somalia. You're welcome, brother. We have members from the Pakistani Global Foundation. We have His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with us. We have the ambassador from Sudan, that is from Khartoum, and we have the charged affairs from the Republic of Egypt. You are truly welcome, Your Excellency. We have uh, among us, that's the speaker of the Kampala Capital State Authority, Hajat Zahara Ruirika. You are truly welcome, the speaker of KCCA. From the U.S. community, from the U.S. Embassy, these are brothers that we have always been working with. And we have our sister Shamira Kara. She's the one in charge of Muslim affairs and coordinating all that at the U.S. Embassy in Zambia. We have a sister, Mariam Nanyonga, a press specialist from the Embassy of the U.S. as well. In a special way, I want to, uh, to recognize the presence of Hajj Honorable Hudu Katuram. He was the chairperson of this Muslim caucus for 15 solid years. Honorable Hudu Katuramu, thanks for your prayers. He was lately unwell health wise, but Alhamdulillah, mashallah, he's back on his feet. Of course, limping a little bit, but he's improving. He was also the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee for 15 years. Honorable Hajj Hudu Katuramu, he's with us. We have leaders in the interest of time. We have leaders at uh, the regional car, the from Soga region, Sheikh Dr. Boa Hussein, he's with us. We have the RBC Bukedeya. Now, when I talk about Bukedeya, 
Hajati Ashimat knows all these areas because this is where she comes from. Hajati, uh, Hajati Ashimat, your, the RDC from your area is with us tonight. Thanks so much for inviting him along. He's Haj Imran, the RDC from Bukedia. You are truly welcome. The Ginger District Card, Sheikh Basoga Ismaili Adi, you are welcome from Ginger Wusoga. Uh, we have the country card, Kiteriera Mayuge District, Sheikh Siraje Walukoko, he's with us. Sheikh Siraje, of course the list is endless, but we shall try to see. Of course, I want to also recognize the presence of the President of the Federation of Uganda Football Association, Brother Hashim Magogo. I'm recognizing him in that capacity. I don't know the other titles, but in a special way as the President of FUFA. You are truly welcome. Uh, I want to hand over the microphone to my brother to take us further. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Time is so much against us. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, uh, I wish also to recognize the chairman of the Pakistani community, Mr. Gulani Rabban, is amidst us. Uh, and uh, finally, among the people to be recognized, we shall not recognize uh, all of us who are here. We are sorry because of time, but Honorable Speaker and Deputy Speaker, we have a group from BMK, BMK Group of Companies, led by none other than Hajati Hadija Nakaiza. She can wave to you because BMK was a great man to this nation. Right, Honorable Speaker, right now, because of time, I wish to invite our chairman of the Parliamentary Muslim Caucus. And that is none other than the brave man who stood against you, Madam Speaker, and he considered the defeat and congratulated you. And that, that is what Islam is all about. Islam is about, it is all embracing. You accept what God has judged. Because of God's judgment, you can't appear against us. Honorable Chairman, my Chairman, I, I salute you, sir. And now it is my pleasure to invite you to address this gathering. Thank you very much, brother. Audhu Bilal Minna Shaitwan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Right on our speaker, we have strictly seven minutes to break the fast. I want to use the two minutes and the five will be yours. And in that regard, the deputy speaker, the leader of opposition, members of the diplomatic corps, religious leaders, ladies and gentlemen, First of all, I want to welcome all of you on behalf of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus that I chair. But before I proceed, allow me to request all of you to stand up for a moment of silence for our departed speaker, the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, before I proceed with my speech. May his soul rest in eternal peace. We can take our seats. Reverend Speaker, kindly permit me to thank you and your office for this maiden iftar dinner in your term of office as Speaker of Parliament and also in my term of office as Chairperson of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus. The Honorable Latif Sebagala, who is there, will confirm. This is the highest attendance of the iftari dinner in the history of these dinners. This is the highest. The list of introductions here from the diplomatic community, the religious leaders, only show and confirm that this is the highest attendance we have had. On behalf of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus, I want to thank all of you for coming in big numbers. And I want to particularly thank the right honorable speaker for making this happen. I know you have been calling me. You've been asking, preparing the barrio, but also asking about this dinner. We want to thank you for, for the support. Let me also thank 
members of the executive of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus. And I want to request all of them to stand up for recognition. Right on speaker, our patron is General Moses Sali, who is unwell. Our deputy patron is the Honorable Lukia Nakadama. The vice chairperson is the Honorable Idi Savidye, who is over here. We have our Imam, Honorable Mutumba, Deputy Imam, Honorable Chirumira Hassan, the, sec the General Secretary, Honorable Aisha Kawanda, Assistant General Secretary, Honorable Nkunyinji Muwada, our Treasurer, the Honorable Yusuf Nsivambi, the Publicity, the Honorable Bashir Mbazira, Assistant Publicity, Honorable Isaac Sejova, Amirat, the Honorable Sauda Alibao Kauma, Secretary for International Relations, the one and only Ibrahim Semujunganda. Assistant Secretary of International Affairs, Honorable Nsel Gumile Chibed. Is Honorable Semuju around? Yes, stand up for recognition. Yes. The representatives of staff, Hajat City Nacherotich and Chigundu Sulaiman. Right on speaker, that is the executive of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus. Right on speaker, I also want to inform you that members of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus are here. I want to request that members of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus stand up for recognition. All of you, we are about 50, we are about 54. Yes. That is the group. And briefly, we have the Honorable Sechi Indi Aisha, we have the Honorable Nabukera Hanifa, Honorable Masaba Karim, Nkunyinji Muwada, Chirumira Hassan, Sentai Muhammad, Mpindi Bumal, Mutumba Abdu, Nsegu Mide Muhammad, Taban Ate Sharifa from Koboko, daughter, granddaughter of Al Haj Field Basho, Ida Amin Dada. Yes, she's over there. Honorable Avako Merusa, Isaac Ismail from Padiel. I've seen you. Aisha Kabanda, Bashiri Kazibwe. We have also allies of the caucus and partners of the caucus. Honorable Namu Gagoret, I have seen you there. We have our member, Honorable Abdallah Chiwanuka. Honorable Naevale Silvia Salma. That one should stand up for special recognition. Honorable Silvia Salma. We have the Honorable Abdu Katuntu. We have the Honorable Hashim Moses Magogo. The Honorable Naigaga Mariam. The Honorable Choto Ibrahim. The Honorable Idi Isabirye. We also have Honorable Solomon Serwanyi, Commissioner. Honorable Namara Dennis, Yala Representative. Honorable Sekabira Dennis from Katikamu. We have uh, Honorable Muhammad Sereko, Kampala Central, Honorable Bashir Hussein Palubega from uh, Mubende. Please, I want to request if there are any more lists, you let me know. Right on, Speaker, let me conclude with the following remarks briefly. Number one, right on, Speaker, we want to request that in the construction of the new chambers, you understand, Honorable Baker Kawalia is also around. Thank you. We are asking for more space. Our numbers have grown, and the prayer space is still very small. So we want to request, as we construct the new chambers, that should be put in consideration. Similarly, the office of, of the caucus, we've been having an office. We request that that office comes back again, because it's very important in coordinating our activities. Finally, allow me to appreciate the founder members of this caucus, the Honorable Latif Sebagala, over there. Played a key role in the caucus. The Honorable Hudu Katramu played a key role. We want to thank you. Honorable Hajat Watongola, I understand she has also arrived. 
MP, Baroda, MP Kamuli Municipality, you are also welcome. Finally, allow me to appreciate the technical staff, veteran speaker, protocol, Chris Obore and your team. We want to thank you, Zainabu, uh, Kasim, Munir, and the others who have helped to make this function what it is. Veteran speaker, with those remarks, kindly permit me to invite you. Ordinarily, you would have been invited by the deputy patron, Donovo Lukia Nakadama. But because she has just arrived and we need to give her opportunity to cool down, in the interest of time, permit me, Raton Speaker, to invite you to address us in the remaining three minutes. The, the patron insists that she has to do it. Who am I to say no? <laughs> Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Members of Parliament, uh, I know the protocol has been observed. Invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nakadama Rukia Isanga. I'm a woman member of Parliament for Mayuge District. And um, of course, I'm the Deputy third deputy prime minister of Uganda. So I think it's very important on such a day to invite the speaker to come and say something and also to wish the Muslim fraternity in Uganda and the world over wishing them a nice Ramadan. Everybody who is here, I know you are observing the fasting so I wish you all the best during this month of Ramadan. Before I invite you, right honorable speaker, I have some people who, uh, who are here from Pakistan, from the Pakistani community. I have the chairman. I think they were recognized before. Yeah, they are there, but the same team, there are many. So those people are here because I am the Honorable Consul of Pakistan in Uganda. So it is very important that I recognize their presence here. That's why they've joined this parliamentary iftar. I don't want to waste uh, much time. Everything has been said by the chairman. So, right Honorable Speaker, please come and deliver your speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Colleagues, let's be patient for about three minutes. After her speech, Adhan will go on and uh, we will make other communications and announcements. Your Excellencies, the Ambassadors and the Honorary Councils, the eminent, his eminent, the Mufti of Uganda and your delegation, the Supreme Mufti and your delegation, the delegation from the cultural institutions, my former lecturer, the members of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus, our guests from Mitoma and Bokedea, the legal fraternity that is here, I have seen Justice Sekana, the education fraternity, I have also seen Professor Wasabwalunya. I am what I am because he made me what I am. The distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this year's 
if it if tal dinner in the parliament the parliamentary commission for the last 6 years has been holding this dinner and this is a demonstration of solidarity to our Muslim brothers and sisters in Parliament. There is a saying in Allah that says, O oh, you who believes, observing fast is prescribed for you as it is prescribed for those before you, so that you become cautious. The message of Allah, peace and blessing be upon you, say, Fasting in the Quran are two in intercessors from the servant of Allah on the day of the resurrection. The first will say, O oh Lord, I preserved him from this, his food and the desires during that day. Let me intercede for him. The above expression highlights the importance of fasting and I encourage the Muslim fraternity, the Muslim brothers in Uganda and all over to take advantage of this month of Ramadan to multiply their praises and worship the Almighty Allah. I am aware of the rewards that come with providing this kind of dinner during the fasting period. And I believe today as Parliament of Uganda, we are going to get all the blessings because of providing this kind of dinner. I encourage all the Muslim brothers and sisters to dedicate this year's Ramadan to giving to the poor. As we retreat to our homes, we should not forget the less privileged people who cannot pro provide for themselves. And that's why we felt as parliament, we should be able to see and show an example that we are providing for the people who may not be able to provide for others. And on that note, therefore, that's why today in this dinner, we want to give the less privileged from the Kaboa Mosque. The office of the speaker is giving that mosque 50 million shillings. Can the leader of that mosque come and speak? I also want to assure the Muslim community, as Parliament of Uganda, The reason behind that, they wrote to me asking for support for construction of the mosque, and that is the support that we are giving to, to the mosque on behalf of our office. And as a parliament, I want to promise you that we'll do whatever is possible within our hands that will support the Muslim community, the Muslim laws, and anything that makes the Muslims comfortable will do that. And I also want to appreciate the parliamentary Muslim caucus. They are very reliable, honorable members to deal with. They are, they are our very good supporters. And that's why we've said whenever we have any function, or whenever they need our support, we will always be there to support the Muslim community. 
we've agreed with our members that in anything we will always want a Muslim to be involved. Whether it is in appointment or whatever, we will want a Muslim to be involved or to be included in it. I wish you a peaceful and a blessed fasting period. May the Almighty Allah hear and answer all your prayers during this Ramadan. I say all this for God and my country. We want to thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. Before you take leave of uh, the podium, uh, colleagues, the speaker has uh, special guests. She wants to hand over gifts in one minute. I want to read uh, the names and they come over. Uh, one, Shaysen Abu Abdallah, Deputy Muft, Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Next is Dr. Kasim Nachibinge Kakungulu, who sent apologies, but I request the team from to come and receive it on his behalf. Right now, speaker Dr. Kasim Nachibinge, apologies. Show Mama Zi, the Supreme Mufti. Show Sulaiman Kake, Amir of the Tablik Sect. Show Yunus Kamoga. Amiru Uma, <laughs> Professor Balunya Juma, Prince Makere University, Professor, you are welcome. The right one speaker, if you didn't attend today's function, we would be in problems. I'm glad that you have come. Halik Chara. Mr. and Ms. Chigundu. Uh, Ms. Chigundu, the non local investor. Justice Musa Sekana, your special guest, come forward. Justice Nyanzi Yasi, Dr. Hafiz Walusindi, the Honorable Said Abumba, the Honorable Said Abumba, eh, I get him by the school of here. And uh, his Lordship, Justice Chibed Muzame. Yes, and finally, Haji Dr. Twaha Kawas. Wait, you told our speaker, you are a special guest. Much. Welcome, speaker. You can now take your seat. You can now take your seat. I uh, want to thank you. Please bear with us. Akai say you bear with us. Welcome, speaker. I want to inform you that we shall be conducting a special prayer for you in Mecca. And I'm glad that the ambassador of Saudi Arabia is here. We'll be visiting Mecca as part of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus. And we shall be making special prayers for you, the deputy speaker, the position, our platform for guidance. Uh, the rest of all, the rest of you, the right one speaker has a gift for each of us here. Whoever is here will go away with a gift from the right one speaker. Each of us here will go away with a gift from the right honorable speaker. There are two colleagues I didn't introduce. Honorable Tuala Fadil. Honorable Tuala Fadil. Honorable Hashim. I saw Honorable Hashim. Yes, Honorable Hashim. Yes, you are welcome. We are going for a dance. Yeah, Birali, Birali. Yes. The chairperson in the commission, I just want to be with him, but this is not enough. Finally, finally, Mr. Allah. Chairman, we want to recognize Hajati Tayewa. She's around with us. Hajati 
Hajat Sayyidah, thank you very much. You're welcome. And then there is also uh, Hajat Afoyo Chani. You're highly welcome. Uh, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah. Hayya la salah. Hayya la salah. Hayya la falah. Hayya la falah. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Olina omwagalwawo gwoyagalo kuweleza 